Axial spondyloarthritis is part of a group of inflammatory disorders called the spondyloarthropathies. There is a form which affects the spine, the axial part, which can also include the chest, the ribs, and also the hips and pelvis. Many of my patients wonder what is the difference between non-radiographic spondyloarthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Although they both experience symptoms of low back pain and stiffness, there are no changes seen on x-ray with non-radiographic spondyloarthritis. In ankylosing spondylitis, there are changes of inflammation that is seen on x-rays and sometimes the bone can fuse. Many of my patients come in for low back pain. This is one of the hallmark symptoms for both non-radiographic spondyloarthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. This kind of back pain is different from mechanical pain because the pain is felt worse at night or early morning, accompanied by stiffness, but the pain does not get better with rest or inactivity. In fact, the pain does improve with exercise and activity. There is no specific test to really diagnose non-radiographic spondyloarthritis. However, a clinical history is important as well as some blood tests and also diagnostic imaging to see if there are changes that occur in the spine. One test that the rheumatologist will do is a measurement of the inflammation marker, ESR and CRP. Another thing that a rheumatologist may check for is a gene called HLA-B27 gene that is seen with many of the spondyloarthritis. There are treatments for non-radiographic spondyloarthritis, which is similar to ankylosing spondylitis treatment. Usually the first line of therapy is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs. These medications can include ibuprofen, naproxen, and other anti-inflammatory agents. Sometimes you can add or switch these anti-inflammatory agents. If the person does not respond to this medication, then the next line of therapy may be something called a biologic, which focuses on treatment of certain chemicals that can cause inflammation. Physical therapy can also be done to help with back mobility as well as occupational therapy. Patients diagnosed with non-radiographic axial spondyloarthritis can leave normal lives and functional lives. It is important for them to know that if they are diagnosed with this, despite having any changes on x-rays, they can be treated with medications, physical therapy, as well as exercise and weight loss. They can leave functional lives.